click altitude here and now it says slew to a location near the equator and the eastern or western horizon all right so let's go back to Stellarium now the horizon my uh, west horizon is here behind the house so let's see a nice shooting star in my planetarium software uh, let's go to the east so again here's the equator and towards the east um, let's just pick it's not super critical that you be right on it. So we're gonna Slewing to target. Do our meridian flip again. So you'll see the scope will come in from this side. Or maybe it'll come down. Here it comes. So, moving in deck along an RA line. Slow complete. Okay, let's go back to PhD2, and drift. And that's a bigger circle. <laughs> so our altitude is quite a bit off compared to the azimuth. So, here I've written deck slope down, loosen rear altitude screw, deck slope up, tighten rear altitude screw, um, because the mount rests on the rear screw, and then the front screw just we use to just kind of snug it down. Okay, so we can do a pretty quick course adjustment here. So the green line is, does it's deck slope? Yep. Deck slope is up, so we are going to tighten the rear alt screw. So let me see here if you can see my hand. Where is, it's hard to see, it's behind all the wires here. Um, it's right below the polar scope. It's this silver, let me see if we can make this a little bigger here. It's this little silver screw here. All right, so we're going to press adjust. And what did we say? Deck slope up, tighten. So I may need to loosen then. I will need to loosen the front screw to allow the rear screw to tighten. Okay. So now I am tightening. And then drift again. Let's see if it maybe it'll pick up. Yeah, it'll pick up a brighter star this time. That's better. It's still stabilizing. Okay, I'm gonna adjust it from here. Uh, deck slope up. Tighten rear alt screw.
Okay, I'm going to go with that drift. This is where your friend with the, uh, your visual observer friend with the daub has, is teasing you about how many objects they've seen. <laughs> and your, your polar aligning. But just remember that what you end up with, they're never going to see through an eyepiece. They're never going to see the colors and the detail that you're going to get from astrophotography. Alright, I'm going to press adjust, um, deck slope down, loosen rear alt screw. You can see it's moving in the opposite direction it was moving. Okay, drift. Because I think I'm going to call it quits after this adjustment. Yeah, and if you can, if you're fortunate enough to be able to leave your mount set up you know as long as you don't bump it or the dog doesn't run by and bump it um, then you don't have to do this every night you can just leave it and you'll be all set okay so now we're in good shape we're jumping around on either side so for purposes of demonstration, I am going to call that good polar alignment.